right, well, welcome to another Saturday. Sorry about Wednesday. I know I didn't get a video out this week, but um, daughter was in from Alaska, had a new job, trying to get the in-laws uh, ready to go. Uh, we haven't packed up anything. We're supposed to go over there today and get all that, but now it's raining in 35. So my fire's got it up to 46 over there right now, but I just started it. So hopefully it'll be nice in here in a little bit. And then... um. Really, I'm just kind of waiting. I don't I haven't been able to work on the smoker. I've got the uh, I've got everything cut out. Now I just need to grind it down and start welding on it uh, to get it fixed into the uh, barbecue pit. And then um, it's just been I haven't had time to do it. Is basically all it is. And that's my next kind of I want to finish that thing up so I can get rid of the scrap in the driveway and get it all the rust, the you know the firebox and stuff that's just nasty. I want to get rid of that. I think I showed you that in last video. Um, Got the parts for the Yamaha, the, the small one, not the RD. The RD, I'm still doing the electrolysis over here. Um, I've rinsed the tank out once. I'm fixing it up to, well, if it was nicer outside, I'd do it today, but I'll probably do it tomorrow afternoon. I think it's supposed to start warming up again, but um, a lot of stuff. There's a little pile of rust and junk coming out. Um, I'll show you that. And, uh, and then when I rinsed it out, I got a bunch of flakes. Um, that's probably the old dried gas and stuff, maybe not rust, because when I did rinse it out, uh, the other day, um, Tuesday I think I did, I just took it over to the hose and just sprayed it out real good and then put another batch of uh, the, the washing soda and stuff in there. When I did that, um, you could actually see silver on the bottom. Um, so it, it's getting a lot of it up and it may not be as badly rusted as I thought and it might have just been a lot of the old um, gas settling and drying and stuff like that. So I'm not sure, but can't wait to get that going, especially now the new job's only eight miles away on a road with no traffic so I'll be able to uh, this summer ride it to work pretty much every day got the parts like I said for that Yamaha over there uh, for the four-wheeler uh, a little skeptical it says genuine Yamaha parts and it was from a uh, it wasn't a Yamaha dealer but I think it was a boat shop or something that I ordered them I found them online for the, the you no know, is that parts Zilla or whatever it is um, they are in Yamaha bags but they're folded over and stapled so who knows but uh, it's the right part numbers and stuff, and they do say Yamaha because I'd like to have gotten, you know, genuine Yamaha parts. So that's what I think I ordered, but we'll see if it really is. So I got the two shafts because I, I thought I messed them up when I was pulling them out of there and stuff. It actually, they look pretty good. I probably could have reused the rocker arm shafts. But anyway, I'm going to replace those two. I ordered the gasket set off of Amazon. It's supposed to be here on Tuesday, so hopefully um, sometime next week, since I will have a little bit of extra time in the evenings now, since I get home earlier, um, I can hopefully get that one put back together and pull it back out of here. And then that'll just leave some more work on the golf cart. Um, got to figure out why it works fine after we rebuilt it. Um, you know, went got the motor and got it all put it back together and I've drove it around a few times and everything else, but it's really hard to get it going. If I lift it off and there's no resistance, it'll go almost every time. So I'm not sure if there's too much compression or the belts are not tight enough. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to get on the... Uh, the uh, old uh, EasyGo uh, forum I belong to for the 3PG, I think is the motor. Uh, get on there and kind of check that out and see what's going on with it because I'd love to get it painted and then all this stuff put back together so I can continue my way around the garage. Um, still got plenty of room in here. I'm trying to keep that side pretty clean like I did. Um, you know, Right now I got the two Yamaha store parts, so there's parts over there. And uh, that's about it, but you know, I'm starting to feel the heat from my fire and... Uh, just sitting here relaxing with my coffee. Did go to breakfast with the wife. She was out of town this week for um, for work, and I really didn't get to see her too much on uh, Thursday night when she gets back. But uh, so we just went to breakfast this morning. Got back from breakfast. Decided I'd come out here and sit and make a fire because I haven't had a fire all week and just kind of relax today. Too cold to do anything. Um, if my parts were well, I'll probably try to get the. Um, I'll probably go ahead and try to put the uh, rocker arms and the shafts in there. That way when the gasket set comes, all I gotta do is put it back together and put the bolts down. So I'll probably get that done today, but that's the only thing I'm gonna work on. The rest of it, I'm just gonna do some reading and stuff for work. Um, gotta learn some new things. So uh, always fun, right? I guess the other thing I need to finally do is uh, start working on that pallet table again. I need to uh, figure out what I'm gonna do. I think I've designed in my brain, I've been thinking about it for a long time. I got them all glued together one time and, and pieced, but then I just couldn't decide because by the time I priced out the four inch uh, 
angle iron. It doesn't come in anything but a quarter from the place that I get it. And so quarter inch, four inch by four inch angle iron would be heavy for three, six, seven, eight, for 10 feet. I don't know why I could figure that up and put this in here, but um, yeah, 10 feet of a quarter inch angle iron plus the legs, plus the pallet. You're talking almost a 200 pound table. So um, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I've decided I'm gonna go get some one by fours and put those around as the sides. And then I'm just gonna use some of the one inch angle iron I have up there to accent the top, paint that black. Um, and, or maybe that brown. I'll probably paint it the brown because I'm going to stain it kind of a, not a clear, but not a dark color either. So you can still see the nail holes and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do with that. I've got the design ready now. I just need to get it back out and uh, start working on it also. Um, be a good thing in here. Once I get the, the motorcycle out of the way or the four wheeler out of the way, then I can set it up on saw horses over there and do that. So I'm hopefully next week I'll have a shot of that and show you what I'm doing with it. And, um, uh, and then we'll move on. Always something to do, right? Um, got plenty of projects going, just none of them finished, and I haven't had a lot of time to work on them, so I'm trying to get some of them done. I'd like to get that barbecue pit done so I can get that back over to work, um, my old work. I'm still, you know, before they have their next burger burn, um, I'd like to get that back over there, and I, I'm hoping they have a blue uh, high heat paint. I'm gonna try to find that, because um, it'd be great for Air Force colors, you know, to have it blue, and uh, maybe put their little logo on there or something, so. Hopefully I get that finished up. Other than that, just uh, enjoy your weekend. If it's cold, get you a fire or a nice little heated blanket and curl up somewhere with a cup of coffee, cup of tea, or whatever you like. And um, as always, we thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.